It's the end of June already, so I'm going to run through a few of the products that I've really enjoyed using this month. Um, my first product that I wanted to mention was this product by Phyto. I love Phyto products. This product, however, is new to me. Um, I'm a huge fan of their scalp oil um, and their tablets as well. I'm going to do a blog on them soon because I've started taking them again recently and they help your hair to grow. But this product is fantastic. I use it once a week, um, so I use it every Sunday night when I'm home. And they come in little glass capsules and you put it on your hair before shampooing. About 15 to 30 minutes is what they recommend, but I used it and slept in it one night uh, and the second time I just used it as instructed and it leaves your hair feeling amazing. And this is also highly recommended before you go for a hair appointment. If, you're, if your scalp can become a little bit irritated by hair dye and treatments, this really protects. It leaves your hair unbelievably soft and would be great for, um, for using before shampooing if you're feeling that your hair just needs a little bit of extra tender loving care. I found this as well online for £13.50, so I will link all of that in the blog underneath. Um, they're a little bit impractical because you have to break both ends of this glass capsule um, to get it out and then you pour it into this dispenser bottle and you spray it all over your hair. So um, you, you layer your hair, you, you section your hair off and you spray it all through and then you massage and leave it in. Um, it says that you break these with something to do with this bottle but I haven't worked out and I've just been snapping off the glass which I wouldn't recommend particularly. Um, I dropped one one day and used that, I was trying to open a different one, dropped one, used that one. So the only thing that is a little bit impractical with this is the glass aspect of it, but it's fantastic and I'm really enjoying using it every weekend when I'm home. I'm really on a bit of a thing about looking after my hair at the moment. Um, I neglected it about, about a year ago, I was really neglecting my hair, I wasn't doing much for it, I wasn't cutting it, I was trying to grow it and um, I never let, left conditioner on for long enough and I'd just got in really bad habits with, with my hair so I'm really trying to look after it these days and give it lots of nourishment and, um, and good products and the whole Phyto range is amazing and I'm, I really like these and £13.54, five weeks worth of treatment um, is, is pretty good value. Um, yeah, so, so it's just over, so it's about £2.70 a week roughly. Um, the next product that I wanted to mention, I've had for ages, and I know everyone mentions this, but I just wanted to talk about it anyway. Um, it's the Garnier BB Cream. A few people have asked me to cover BB creams on my blog, and, and what do I think of them? I think they're great. I think that they do what they say to a degree. Um, I think they've been a little bit hyped up, maybe. This, um, this does all sorts of things, apparently. So it protects against the sun, it blurs imperfections, but so does a good foundation, so does a good tinted moisturiser. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't really like this product. It moisturises, it's really moisturising without being too moisturising. You wouldn't have to use a moisturiser under this or a serum, but I'm a little bit OCD with my moisturising, so I do. But um, you definitely don't have to, it's really moisturising. Um, my biggest complaint with this product, it's really, really nice to, I, this is the light. Um, and my biggest complaint with this product is that the two bottles in the store, so this one and the medium, they, there is no indication on the outside, they're not different colour bottles, it doesn't say light, it doesn't say medium on either bottle, it's only when you open them that you can actually see um, which product you're getting, but it was a little bit strange kind of testing them, thinking is this the light, is this the, and there are only two shades I believe at the moment, um, but I really do like this, I like the smell the best of, of all, out of everything about it, it smells so fresh. Um, and it's really nice to put on your skin. It, it's just the same as, as a tinted moisturiser with, with a couple of added benefits. And depending on which tinted moisturiser you're using, it may have the benefits too. And it's a little bit more covering than a tinted moisturiser, I would say, generally the ones I use. I like the Dermalogica tinted moisturiser very much. Um, sheer tint, it's called. That's a really nice one. And that gives really, really good coverage too. Um, and this is just something that I love having around and do really love using. And I am obsessed with the smell. I did email um, Garnier about the sun protection in it. Now, it says that it's got SPF 15, UV, UVA and UV, UVB protection, but there's some debate about how much UV, UVB, can't even speak, UVB protection is in this. So I emailed them to ask them and they never got back to me. That was about two months ago, which is kind of the delay on me mentioning this. 
Um, but it's great. You can add sunscreen on top or underneath, so it, it doesn't really matter, but it would be good to just be clear on how much sun protection you're getting because it's a shame when products are misleading and they say there's something in there and, and it isn't really big. Give this a try. It's a really nice, really easy step, especially for people who maybe don't like using a foundation um, but maybe need a little bit more coverage. This is a really good um, everyday product. And also for days that you maybe don't want to put makeup on, but you do want to protect your skin and for it to look nice. The next product that I'm going to mention today is Bobbi Brown's Shimmer Brick. Now, I've used this for literally years. Um, love it so much. It's actually really battered, this one now. Um, I'm using it as an eyeshadow today as well. And I love that you can just literally throw it all over your skin just for an instant pick-me-up. They do this in a rose and an apricot and a beige. So go and check out which colour you'd most like. Um, I love the apricot one as well. And it's great. I've just picked out different colours in there as my eyeshadow today. I've never actually read anywhere that you can use this as an eyeshadow. So maybe if you know you've got more sensitive eyes, be a little bit careful. Don't just take my advice on it. But for me, it's a great eyeshadow. I came into work today and realised I hadn't picked up my eyeshadows at home. So I just threw a bit of this on my, um, on my eyelids and um, because of the darker colours I blended them in as well so great all-round product and lovely across the chest if you're using a good brush it's just really lovely to just highlight and lift your skin um, totally ignored that product for so long at home it's so weird how sometimes you take products for granted when you've had them for a long time and it doesn't mean they're any less good or, or any less desirable but you just don't use them um, the next product I'm going to mention is Dermalogica's Sebum Clearing Mask, um, another product that I've used for years. I tend to use this just across the chin area when I'm getting breakouts. It doesn't dry the skin out. You get a real cooling sensation from this product. It's got salicylic acid in it, so it clears the follicles and it helps prevent future breakouts. Um, I really, really love this deep cleansing mask. And I love with the Dermalogica masks that you can put one mask up here, like the Power Vitamin, and you can use because your skin isn't the same all over different parts of your skin have different concerns my skin is probably dehydrated combination so I can get quite an oily t-zone sometimes not oily but I can get congestion there and it wouldn't be as as dry or dehydrated is probably the correct word as my forehead and my cheeks so it's good to treat different areas of your skin with different products um, depending on your concern rather than just assuming that your skin is just one thing all over because it never is I'm loving the range that Dr. Darren McCowan has brought out. I think I'm pronouncing his surname correctly. I've actually made an appointment to see him when I'm in Glasgow. I thought I'd go and get my skin analysed. He's a leading cosmetics doctor up there and um, I, I'm really enjoying his range. So I thought I'd make an appointment to go and speak to him and get some more information. But this is one of the products that I've been trying out. It's the Tri-Mineral Micro Dermabrasion Mask. Now the three minerals are magnesium, copper and zinc. And this mask brightens up your skin. You feel a real tingle when, when the mask is on and all his products have ingredients in it that he say really, really work. Um, I think he thinks there are lots of products on the market that he's seen his clients coming to him and is using that, that aren't doing exactly what they say. Um, and this is great. You need to leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes for it to properly activate. And, um, and you really feel it tingling and your skin looks bright afterwards and plumper. Um, I'm really liking his day cream as well, which has got SPF 20 in it, really liking it. Um, and I'll be interested to ask him some more questions when I meet him. I've been doing a lot of Bikram yoga this month and after I come out of there and I'm really sweating and I have my shower and my hair all feels tangled, the thing that has been saving me are these um, Davines, I think it's Davines, the name of this product, I know the brand really well and yet don't properly know how to pronounce the name, um, these shine drops, it just completely loosens out my hair and then if I just run um, a hair dryer over it in there I actually walk out with decent hair for the first time so really love these, you just need a few drops I've had this bottle for ages and I've only used down to about there. Um, just really nice for your hair. In fact, I might put a bit on now. Um, I will link all the details. I'm not how, sure how much this was. I can't remember. Um, it was such a long time that I got it. Um, it's great. You can use it on dry hair. Wet hair is how I've been using it. And it really has been a lifesaver after Bikram because your hair can get really tangled and nasty. 
For anyone who doesn't know who Shibata is, she's probably our number one eyebrow person in the UK. And I used to go to her, I haven't been to her for a long time now, but I love having kind of strong eyebrows and I always put something in my eyebrows in the day. It would be one of my sort of top priorities. If I was putting on no makeup and I was only doing one thing, eyebrows would probably be the thing that I'd concentrate on. Um, this product is her brow perfector. Rather than picking an eyebrow pencil, which I think everybody knows how to use, I thought I'd use the brow perfector. So there are three different shades. There's a lighter one, a brown, and then a black. And I mix all of them, as you can see, I've used them all. And th this isn't the brush that I would use, but I'm at work and this is the only one that I had, but just a flat brush. And then you just mix a little up. And just put it into the eyebrow. Fill in any gaps, make them a bit darker. Um, I've got kind of gaps in my eyebrows here and across here and they get a bit thinner towards the end. So I really like to make my eyebrows a little bit stronger. Um, and I love this product. This I've had this for so long, like an embarrassing amount of time. I should probably actually just replace it. Um, this is £19.50. I found it for online and it will last you ages, much longer than a pencil. Obviously you need a brush too, but even one of the little pointed brushes, like j just a small brush that you can get in there and just get into the eyebrow. And you can really kind of go for it with this stuff. And the lighter color is really nice too. I, I don't know if it looks light enough on here, um, but that is suitable for somebody who's blonde. For somebody who's blonde, who, who maybe you can't see much of an eyebrow and it's not framing the face. Eyebrows are so important in terms of framing the face. Um, and I do think everyone who, who, who tries, their, tries to pencil their eyebrows in a little bit more will be surprised at what a difference it makes. And I literally think that about everyone, not just some people, everyone, every hair colour. Um, and I, I think it's so important. And I think it's, it's important not to over pluck your eyebrows. And if you're gonna have them trimmed, get them trimmed by somebody who knows what they're doing. If you're anything like me and quite heavy handed with the scissors. Um, so I am quite careful with my eyebrows. They're not in the best state at the moment. I haven't been to see the lady who does my eyebrows for about five or six weeks. So I've just been plucking them a little bit myself carefully. But um, I really like this, this Shibata Brow Perfector. Um, I always have. And like I say, it lasts forever. So it's a really good investment. The last product that I'm going to mention this month is a little bit indulgent. Um, my friend Susie gave this to me for my um, birthday present in April. Her and her sister Katie have a beauty salon in Ascot called Aura and they stock this brand called Ela. And I've got this gorgeous set of products, um, cleansing milk and toner. The cleansing milk has rose and argan oil. Um, the toner is rose water. The black currant and honey face scrub is to die for. It smells so good. I was using this in the shower every single morning um, when I was in Manchester a couple of weeks ago where I took this set with me because I didn't have a lot of luggage. This is perfect for travelling. Um, you get a face oil and you get um, a body balm as well. And this body balm is great. Um, I use it on my feet, my heels, my elbows. It's quite a hard balm. But really, really nice. And the, and the face oil is great. So it's a lovely set. If you want to take some products away and you don't want to go for the supermarket minis, these are really good smaller sizes um, for taking away and really looking after your skin. And these products are natural, but the sort of natural products that I want to be using, I think some natural products don't do as much for me as products that aren't natural, and therefore I'd rather just use products that aren't natural, but these are fantastic. Such a nice range, and I really want to try more things from it. The other thing that I didn't mention, oh, actually the price of that is £67.82. As I said, it was quite um, quite an indulgent product. The price that I didn't mention is of the Dr. Darren um, face mask scrub. I, I think it's more of a scrub, but it's called a mask. Um, I guess because you've got to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, this is £16.99. And I will link everything, more details, prices, links to the cheapest places that you can buy underneath. So click the link um, underneath the video if you want any more information. I hope that you have a lovely July.